All right, got the template over here on the workbench. Now I want to do the setup on the template. Okay, here's what I want to do. I want to mark where I'm going to use PCB ties. Now from Fast Tracks, you can get them like this in these frets. These are good for short ties. Um, from Oak Hill Track Supply, you can get these guys. Now when we do crossover, these long ones, this is this is the way we do it. We may need some of these. Now here's one thing. This is a blank piece of PCB from Amazon that comes in a pack, and it is not it's not as thick quite as the PCB ties. It's just a, it's just a hair thinner. But one of the things I want to do on this one, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to need to is let's get down here and look where there is a frog now the frogs need to be or not frog where these guys right here the um, yeah the frog isolation gaps okay so when we lay this down this frog here has got to be isolated no problem but because I need this thing to be super robust I usually put extra ones in here, but this time I'm gonna take my highlighter and I may not even put ties there. I might just go and put a piece of PCB there because I want this thing to be bulletproof. And I can just detail this later to make it look like there's ties there maybe. But um, there's a good chance I'm gonna go ahead across and do all solid so the frog is solid because I'm going to I'm actually going to gap it way closer than you normally would only because this is in such a high traffic area that I want it to be to be much much more robust so let's take a look at this guy right here okay See how they usually gap here? I'm probably in the gap right there. Let's see if I got a red pen just for that purpose. So I might, I would like to gap here and here. I'd like to gap like that. So this is a short as I can make it because this is a piece of dead rail now if I was going to use tortoises I could I could wear that up and power it but since in the spot where they are the tortoise is not going to work there um, it's got it goes like right down the middle of this is a brace for the edge of the layout and these are going to be hand thrown they're just going to be hand thrown and so one of the other things I do is this. Where this is, I've marked in yellow. Um, there's going to be these ties here. Here and here are going to be PC ties. So that this piece in the middle, which is also a PC board tie, is, it'll be a PC board. But I want PC ties on either side of it. So it's super, super strong. And I'll probably go two on either side of it and multiples at the very end of it to keep it really really strong and so now I've got it now I've got to lay it out and there is so we got one rail that's gonna go like this we got one rail that goes all the way across and I'm thinking that we're gonna to have to be a little bit extra on the end and a little bit extra on that end okay now let me let me do another mark in here let's see if we can find a different color for that something that lets us know take this purple guy here since we're going to be isolating this from the whole peninsula that rail right there this rail and then over here 
this rail. Those will be orphaned, so we have to wire them up. Because if we put plastic rail joiners over here, this rail will be dead, and we won't want that. We need to be live, so they got to be our. And we'll put wires in between to wire them up. That'll be important. This is no way I'm going to make it that short. This is going to extend out. That's got to. It's got to be longer than that. Can't have it that short. It's just too short, and we need to have more power. I'm going to drop feeders all over the place on this thing because we're going to use. As you know, the two resistor problem, when you put two resistors side by side, it cut, cuts the resistance in half. That applies to feeders. Every time you drop a feeder, it cuts the resistance between the bus bar wire underneath and the track up top, cuts the resistance, and you got more reliable power. So that's where we're going to go with that. And so I think we're going to go ahead and lay down the first rail.